Hey, welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, to complete a little more on the uh, Google Chrome privacy settings. A lot of you seem to enjoy the fact that I'm talking about the privacy settings in Google Chrome web browser. Just want to add a little something to it. If you are, of course, using a Gmail and are synced or are signed in your browser, your Google browser with the Gmail, there's a set of uh, privacy settings you should also take a look at. And all you have to do is go, of course, into your Google Chrome browser. On the upper right, you'll see three vertical dots. On these three vertical dots, you'll go into Settings. And here in Settings, you'll go, of course, in the hamburger menu on the upper left, go down to Advanced. One of the things you'll see into Advanced is in the Privacy and Security. Sync and Google Services at the top, you have a little arrow on the right side. And if you look at, click that little arrow, it gives you a few more stuff, a few more settings. So if we look at the settings, you'll have, of course, manage all the way that um, your browser syncs the information. Once again, another little arrow here. So when you click here, you'll see what you can sync in between Google Chrome browser. So here is sync everything. That means apps, bookmarks, any extensions you're using will actually show up in another, another Chrome browser on another machine. Uh, the history of your browsing, the settings. So if you have specific settings in Google Chrome, they'll be shared across devices. The themes, if you're using a theme within uh, Google Chrome, any open tabs, it's going to open them on another browser. Passwords, uh, address, phone number, and more. Payment methods and addresses using Google Pay. So by default, this is sync everything. Maybe you don't want that. Maybe it's for you better to manage whatever you want to sync. Remember, you know, we got to kind of try to think that they are doing this for our convenience, making things easier for us. So if you're using I've got several computers plus my, um, you know, tablets and devices. I like the fact that, you know, there's some syncing between all my devices on Google Chrome because, yes, it's kind of cool. You have all this stuff already there in every machine that you use. But at the same time, we're on a privacy thin line here. It also means that this information is sent to the cloud. Google servers have that information you got to think that they're not using it for any bad things, but you might disagree. Maybe you're thinking, well, I don't like Google to know all of this. So here, you can have change the sync everything and remove that button. If you actually turn that off, then you'll see all the other buttons light up. You'll be able to choose what you want to sync. So for example, maybe you want to sync extensions, bookmarks, and that's it. Maybe that's something that you want to use you think all oh, bookmarks is okay extensions yeah i want to have the extensions i use on other machines so you'll leave only those and just turn off all the rest history settings and so on it all depends on how convenient you want your experience to be and of course the less you sync the more you'll have to sign in and do stuff in the other browsers in order to have that experience also you got to remember another thing here sometimes we have different devices but each device, you don't want to have necessarily the same experience as another device. So say you have two PCs, maybe the Google Chrome on one is for work, Google Chrome on the other one is for home, and basically you don't want to have anything that syncs together because they're not for the same purpose. So there you can also remove the sync everything functionality. Uh, personally, the way I deal with it is by having two different Gmail accounts. but if you stop the syncing, of course, you'll be able to manage each browser more personally, even if you use the same uh, Gmail login. So once again, to get here, okay, is simply to go to your Google Chrome browser, three vertical dots on the upper right corner, go into settings. Here you'll go into the hamburger menu on the left side, go into advanced and click privacy and security. Uh, note that you can actually go directly by just at the uh, address bar at the top uh, writing down chrome colon uh, forward slash forward slash settings forward slash privacy 
and that will bring you to this panel automatically. And remember that we were looking at Sync and Google Services, but the more detailed one here on the little arrow on the right side. And then we looked at, again, a little arrow on the right side of Manage Sync for all the uh, things that are syncing within your browser. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.